Hi, this is Little Dwarf playing games while rumbling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because I can. And I continue with Kingdom Come Deliverance, blind. I still have plenty of errands uh, to run from for my father. Mm, but uh, generally, I also want to explore the town and also pick up herbs because that's like my new obsession. Uh, apparently there's a whole herbalism skill and it actually gives me experience if I pick up uh, plants. So I feel compelled to do that. Um, okay, can't get out. <laughs> I wonder I wonder, wonder what the inhabitants of Scalit uh, must think about Henry just running around like a madman and stuffing his pockets with like dozens upon dozens of different plants, including, by the way, uh, picking nettles uh, like by the score with bare hands, uh, which, you know, is maybe not like super heroic or anything. It's, it's not really dangerous, but it's certainly uncomfortable and I wouldn't do it. Like I would, I would uh, put up some. Uh, I would put on some gloves before doing that. In fact, in fact, uh, the, uh, one of the like the, there, there has been this uh, children's game mm, when I was young. Oh, you can't sprint while well overloaded. Already overloaded, huh? And and most of my carry weight is plants. But uh, there was this game when I was a kid. Well, it wasn't really a game. But this way of playing, uh, which involved th uh, thrashing nettles with like a stick, uh, pretending it's a, it's a sword or something, and cutting them down, uh, just because they were so annoying. Uh, so, you know, it's definitely pretty weird to run around and pick them up by the score with your bare hands. Uh, Adam? Henry, I'm glad you came. Okay, so I will. I have to try and sell them to something to someone then, because <laughs> otherwise, uh, you know, I am going to be permanently over encumbered, which is definitely a problem. Uh, we've discovered a grocer. Well, to be honest, that would be a perfect trader to try and sell my herbs, right? Mm, yeah, she she sells uh, vegetables and all that. Maybe she would buy them. Good day to you. What do you need? Mm, okay, do I want to buy anything from her? Uh, not necessarily. Uh, let's see for how much they sell. I can also sell a bunch of apples, I guess. I don't need 51 apples in my life. I would get 2.1 whatever the currency in Bohemia was at the time. Uh, I don't know, marks? Uh, grosze? I'm not really sure. I guess the game will tell me shortly um, what, it, what, what it's called. Um, okay, I can sell like a bunch of carrots as well. I, I think I'll keep like 20 of each plant. Mm, mm, would she buy Kunashi Sacks? Hmm. She would. It's, it's not really that expensive. But I will sell it because I need the... Uh, I need the money to buy uh, the, the charcoal, right? Uh, I think I will leave like 20 of each kind of plant uh, just to have like a backup for crafting. Mm, okay. Uh, close the deal or haggle? Okay, let's try haggling, just to learn how the mechanic let's talk about works. The price. Sure, why not? Mm, 
Okay, help. Uh, haggling works both ways. Uh, whether you want to buy cheap or sell dear, you select the amount you want to pay or get um, to confirm. The trader will respond to your offer. If the answer is a refusal, he or she will make a counter offer and wait for your response. Uh, if the slider can't be moved in one direction or the other, it means either you or the trader doesn't have enough money. Dragging out the haggling with one authority after the other will gradually try the trader's patience and eventually they will drop the haggling completely. You can see how close you are to that point. From the trader's icon below the bar, the more gold there is, the closer the trader is to dropping the haggling. Every unsuccessful boat of haggling lowers your reputation with the trader. Mm, okay. Uh, okay, so let's try getting like... I don't know. Uh, two more coins. Uh, well, although, to be honest, I'm only getting 19 for all of that. So maybe like, I don't know, one and a half. What do you say to this? I'd almost shake on that. Almost. Okay, so she wants to give me 20. Let's try 20 and a half. Agree? We're getting there. Just drop the price a bit more. Hmm. I guess she won't budge. Okay. I knew we'd come to an arrangement. That's still uh, half a coin more than I would have gotten originally. Mm, have I been in this cul-de-sac? Uh, I think I was, judging by the fact that there are no nettles around. Welcome, <laughs> Henry. <laughs> Carrots and apples picked today to put a smile on your face. Okay. Um, there are nettles, nettles here, however. of cabbage. To, to, to be honest, running across someone's field uh, with cabbage growing right, like that already uh, is a pretty scummy thing to do, but nobody reacted, so I hope I didn't mess it up that bad. Okay, there are plenty of nettles along the palisade here, so to be honest, it uh, might be best to just go from right here. It's, in addition to upping my uh, herbalism skill, they seem to fetch uh, not that bad of a price at the trader, so that's yet another reason to uh, pick them up. Lost something here about? <laughs> Lost something? <laughs> maybe, maybe just my dignity, you know? I'm running around stuffing my pockets with random herbs. Although, to be honest, I'm making quite good coin on it, so maybe it's actually not that bad of an idea after all, even from an in universe perspective. If people are willing to pay for it, then surely, you know, there's, mu there's plenty of work that's more difficult and more degrading than just picking up flowers all day. Hmm. It's not, it's, it's really not that bad 
when you think about it. Who are you? Hmm. What's up? Most of the villagers are not particularly talkative. I've got everything you need, day or night, at home or at work. Okay, I've discovered a tavern, which is presumably where Bianca, my girlfriend, works. And I also need to get my father a pitcher of ale, so that's where I would go for it. Um. Lace, linen, and silk. Come right up and take some home. Kettles for water, baskets for goods, and torches for the night. Yes, Khalid's tavern. Okay. reached yet another level in herbalism. If, if that keeps up, I will be quite a skilled herbalist uh, before even leaving, uh, you know, the prologue. <laughs> I, I just can't stop myself. Like, they, they seem to never end. Whenever I just step uh, like a step, uh, you know, whenever I take one more step in a given direction, uh, there are always more plants. Like, this... Uh, uh, th this activity has no end, seemingly. I, I hope... Uh, I, I hope the plants don't actually respawn, because if they do, they are going to drive me crazy, because... I am going to have this feeling that I have not picked them up and therefore not done a good job, but obviously if they respawn, then I can never effectively pick them up. Uh, and therefore, my job will always remain unfinished and my mind will slowly crumble into nothingness as a result of that. So. For my sanity's sake, I really hope it doesn't respawn. Okay, already over encumbered again from all of the plants. But you know, it seems to me it is worth it. Both from a, an experience point of view, as well as, a, a, as from the monetary point of view. Okay, that's just a big pile of manure right, i right in front of someone's house. And, then, and there is just just a woman uh, uh, calmly knitting uh, uh, right in the front of that aforementioned big pile of manure. As if uh, it was the most normal thing to do. Like, you know, uh, medieval cities were full of shit because, uh, you know, people had to dump it somewhere. Mm, but I doubt they would have, like, stored a big pile of shit right in the front of their house. That seems... That seems... Improbable to me. Especially because it's not such a bad house, really. Like, it's whitewashed and it has quite a solid roof, uh, which is tiled, uh, much as uh, my own family house is in this game. So, you know, that's a that's a reasonably uh, sort of lavish house, for especially for, for such a small village. 
So that big pile of shit is even more uh, sort of surprising as a result of that. Uh, man, there are so many of those uh, plants. I am slowly losing my mind. Uh, but I'm also gaining experience. So, you know, what is what is my sanity in the face of additional experience? And truly, it's a, you know, small price to pay. can't jump while overloaded. Okay, makes sense, I guess. Uh, okay, I really have to go back to the trader because, to be honest, at this point, I feel like I'm going even slower. So maybe at some point, I am going to stop completely and we'll have to dump the rest of it onto the ground to even move. Uh, you know, it would be prudent to sell it off before that moment. cream sauce because it gives him gut trouble. He can't stand the smell of garlic, hates mustard, and bacon is too common for him. Oh, I see. That's a nuisance. Can you think of anything I can do with it? Hmm. Look, it's all about the seasoning. Just roast it with a bit of lard, the same as usual, but add some rosemary and juniper. Rosemary? The best thing for hair. I heard it from a traveling merchant. He had it in Prague, and he said it was delicious. All right, so. I'll try it. And if he doesn't like it, I'll lock him in the hen coop, so he'll have a proper appetite next time. That'll ruffle his feathers for him. <laughs> Maybe you should have done that a long time ago. You're right there. Okay. Hmm. What's, what's that status icon uh, on the bottom of the screen? Like... I, I'm not, it's, it's not hunger. Am I tired? I'll check it out in a moment. But first, let's try selling more of my herbs to this, wo this woman. <laughs> 600 nettles. That's a bit crazy, but... You know. Only God can judge me. Uh, okay, that's actually worth more than she has. So, do I want anything? Antidote. Antidote to poison, but doesn't cure food poisoning. Mm, cheap wine. Honey. Marigold decoction, which is basically a health potion, right? Uh... It costs, co costs 45, which is quite expensive. Uh, Savior Schnapps co costs 128. Mm, you know what? I'll just lower the number of things. Uh, I, I hope I can sell the rest to like a different merchant. Mm. Yeah, let's haggle on that. Just I'd like to discuss the price. For practice. Why not? Okay, how about... Uh, 58. What about this? That's better. Drop it a bit more and we'll call it a deal. See, now, I knew we'd come to an agreement. Okay. Uh, oh, and the icon has disappeared. So I guess that was the icon indicated that indicating that I'm over encumbered. Hmm. Catchpole. What's a catchpole? 
Like, it's obvious from his attire that he's some kind of a guard, but what kind of a position is a catch ball specifically? I have no idea. I hope the game will tell me at some point. God save you, Henry. Mm, well, would you buy herbs by any chance? Jesus Christ, your clothes. Were you assaulted? Damn bandits. May they burn in hell. Oh. Take care. Okay, so maybe it's that I'm dirty. Let me wash myself. You've washed yourself as much as you can in a throw. Thanks very much. And I hope you'll honor me with another visit. It's very nice that they actually react to it. Well. Uh, would you buy herbs? No. Okay. That's a bit problematic. Uh, how about you? You seem to sell, you know, vegetables and whatever. Greetings. Okay, you do. You do s uh, buy the. Uh, buy the herbs. Okay, he, he's, he's got 80. Uh, 80 coins. So I can sell everything to him. Okay, let's uh, let's haggle for it, just for practice. Can we do something about the price? Why not? Looks good. Handy implement. The machine. We agreed. Come on up and buy. So, drop the price a bit more, and we'll shake on it. Agree. Close. Drop the price a bit more and we'll shake on it. Okay, so he's a, he's a hard negotiator then. I knew we'd come to an arrangement. Linen fabric, dyed and plain, something for everyone. Okay, what do you sell? Armor's kit, blacksmith kit. How much does it cost? Good health to you. Mm, 200, okay, I'm not buying that anytime soon. You also sell charcoal, but I assume it's going to be uh, cheaper from the actual uh, strong charcoal linen, delicate velvet, beautiful and functional. From the actual charcoal merchant. How are you? Okay, this one sells cloth. Mm. What about you? Well, first things first, there are unpicked nettles in the vicinity. No, uh, I don't think so. Thanks. How are you, Henry? Who are you? A gambler. Good day. Oh, we can play dice. Sure, I have plenty of money. <laughs> it wouldn't even hurt to lose some. Uh, and maybe I'll learn something, you know, how to play the game actually, so let's do that. I feel a lucky throw coming my way. How about you? Uh, okay, how much do I want to bet? Uh, I guess I can bet 10 coins. Why or oh why did I ever greet this? I lose my shirt again. Mm, okay, so what are the rules of this game? If you want to try your hand at gambling, it's possible to play the game of Farkle in every respectable tavern. The goal of this two-player game is to be the first to reach a certain number of points. Uh, mm, six dice are thrown and the players alternate turns. Points are gained for every one or five thrown and for three or more, more of a kind of any other number. Okay, so one fives and then multiples of other numbers. 
A player's turn always, be always begins with throwing all the 6 dice. The player then uses E to select and set aside scoring dice and at least one die must always be set aside. Then the player can throw down the remaining dice again and the situation repeats. Scoring combinations are counted for present throw, not for the entire turn. The key element of the game is that if a throw does not produce a single scoring die, then the player's turn is over and all the points gained up to that point are lost. It is then the opposing player's turn. Therefore, it is advisable at the end of the turn to use Q before there is a significant increase in the chance that not a single die will score. It is also often worth not removing all scoring dice so that you will always have uh, so that you will have a better chance of scoring higher on the next throw. Uh, okay, and since every player throws his own dice, there is also an opportunity to cheat, but that will be but it is more difficult to find loaded dice. Okay, so it's actually quite cool that you can cheat by literally using weighted dice uh, which you first must find within the world of the game. Devil's Head is a set of dice with a joker instead of the one, which acts as a wild number in combination with any other number. So for example, uh, joker and two ones is worth a thousand because it counts as a one. Uh, on its own, the joker has no value and if all the dice thrown are jokers, the player busts. Okay, so as far as scoring dice are concerned, I have those two fives mm, and I can uh, roll again. Okay, so this is a scoring dice. Uh, yeah, let's roll again, I Not guess. Not afraid of anything, eh? For the kitchen or the field, my fine wares will frighten your... Uh, okay, so I will uh, end the round now. Wait. What? How do I have zero? We'll see. Oh no no no! I was looking. I was looking at his points, uh, not no mine. Uh, but, but still, he's go he, he's doing a lot better than I am. Uh, one, two, three, four. Hmm. I could try for a straight. It's a very long shot. Very long shot. <laughs> but to be honest, otherwise I only get a hundred. Let's let's uh, try that. Oh, I can't. I can only leave scoring dice. Okay, so I I have no I have no choice then. I have to go like this. Any chance of finishing before curfew? Uh, yeah, let's roll again. Hardly worth talking about. Everything for the house. Garden and field. Knives, axes, rakes, hoes. Get the best right here. Hmm. I've had it all. That's it. Wait, sh shouldn't it supposed to be my turn now? We'll see. He, he literally threw all of the dice. Like he should have no. Curse it, luck. Mm. Okay, I have to save this.
Okay, that's a thousand. Uh, Rags, fabric, okay, uh, let's score and pass. That's it. Then you'll need a race. Red, long and strong to sew up anything you need. Your turn. It's no big deal. He didn't have much anyway. Now you. Satin, damask, scarlet to please the ladies in your eyes. Just come right up. Mm, okay, I think I can throw again. Everything for the house. Garden and field. Knives, axes, rakes, hoes. Get the best right here. Everything for work and home. Ah, oh, come on. It's time I had a throw. Okay, that's pretty awesome, actually. Pretty awesome indeed. Hmm, although we're kind of going head to head. Finished. So it Red, can it can still go it can still go both ways. If I was in your shoes, I'd pass while the going's good. No matter. Yeah, maybe, it wouldn't have helped much anyway. Maybe I should have, but you know. It is called gambling because it involves a high degree of risk. That's it. Linen fabric, dyed and plain, something for everyone. Rooms for your house, rakes and hose for your fields. <sighs> Cursed luck. Hmm. Actually, if I rolled everything for work and home. Mm. Oh, okay, I can't do that. I forgot because I wanted to go for a straight. Uh, but I can only hold the die that is actually scoring, not any additional ones. Everything for the house, garden and field, knives, axes, rakes. Not afraid of anything, eh? scarlet to please the ladies in your eyes. Just come right up. Whoa. Should I, shouldn't I? No, I don't. Kettles for water, baskets for goods, and torches for the night. I have it all. That's all. Rooms for your house, rates and homes for your fields. Mm, wait, isn't what that? Do you need? Come on up and see. 
Yeah, that's a straight. Mm, okay. Uh, let's hold that. It's quite uh, actually it's enough to win. So uh, that's doubly uh, quite good. Um, yeah. Holy mother of God! Why do you punish me? Okay, so the currency is called Groshen, so Grosh then, uh, which is actually still. Uh, so you haven't changed your mind about learning the craft of warfaring. Oh, okay. So he's the combat teacher, I guess. Uh, but Grosh is still like the the smaller. Um, what's the word? The, the currency that breaks up the, the main currency of Poland, which is the Polish złoty, uh, you know, the the small denomination, the coins, uh, well, some of the coins, uh, are still called grosze in Poland, even nowadays. Um, okay, so he's the combat trainer, you say. Uh, okay, let's... Uh, uh, it is on my agenda, right? to learn combat. Uh, is it on my agenda? Uh, go to the sword fighting lesson. It is. Sure, so let's talk with him. Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? Oh, it was nothing. Except mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. The world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Mm, sure. Yes. All right, I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. Could do with a bite to eat. Mm. Hmm. Wait, are they growing back? Or did I not notice them last time? As I said, I feel like I'm slowly losing my mind. Uh, he went this way, okay. I should be able to... Mm, to find him? Because he said he's going to be uh, where the sheep graze. So, mm, you know, I should be able to find him just by looking for the sheep themselves. Which, as it happens, are right here. Oh man, man, there's a lot of flowers. And I can't help myself, like, I, I have to pick them up. Not least because they actually fetch quite a nice prize. Uh, but also give me experience and generally, like, I feel not picking up resources that the game gives you is just a stupid thing to do. Especially at the beginning. Where, you know, I am going to need everything I can mm, to tip the scales in my favor. I hope he won't get annoyed 
but he has to wait for me though. <laughs> Would be pretty stupid if I lost the opportunity to learn combat because I was too busy picking up flowers. Well, I've actually not come to see you per se. I've come to take all of your flowers. Mm, new perk point available. Okay, that's pretty great actually. I have to finally check the perks because I think I have like two of them at this point. Okay, I think I'm finally ready for the uh, sword training, e even though I can barely move on account of being uh, over encumbered with uh, <laughs> over encumbered with flowers. So, can we get started? Mm, yeah, we can. We can. Good. And since today is the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. Very well. Let's start with the basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. Uh, in combat, you are locked onto your opponent. You can move around him no! with A and D. You can unlock from an, from your opponent by any time by holding L shift. Okay. All right. All right. Now try to hit me. And you have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. Uh, slash, Not strong bad. attack. Trust, choose the good. direction right. of your strike using the mouse. Now you're getting it. Mm. Nice. The point of the blade is for stabbing. Try it a few times. Mm, stab. Weak attacks tend to be faster and more precise oh, at the nice. cost of power. Stabs can be aimed at the face when you're holding your sword in a high guard, so like this, uh, or at the body, any other guard. Not bad. Again. Good, good. Let's try something else. One strike, I can fend off without a sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. You can chain strikes together in a combo. Uh, Start a new strike as soon as the previous one ends. You can attack. Uh, you, you can change the attack zone or strike repeatedly. Try to press le press left or right at the very moment the previous strike lands. The window of op opportunity between striking at the opponent and the end of the swing. Okay. Very good. Hmm, that's it? You, you, you didn't teach me anything about, like, parrying. And you didn't even say a word. Did he run away while the game was still loading? 
Okay, I, I feel unfulfilled by that combat tutorial. Like, uh, obviously, it isn't going to teach me everything, but it didn't cover parrying or dodging. Nothing to say? Oh well. God save you, Henry. Henry. I... Linen and silk. Come right up and take some home. I need to sell more stuff to this guy. Good day. Mm, he has 59 coins left. Okay, do I particularly want anything that he has? Uh, hmm. He sells healing potions for 50.1, but I don't think I'm going to buy any, like for now I'll, I'll just keep the, the hard, hard, cold hard cash. I'll tag a little. Let's talk about the price. Naturally. Since it's you. Oh. I'd almost shake on that. Almost. <laughs> I thought for a second, f from, from what Henry said, uh, that I've given him a discount. Finally, a reasonable sum. Mm. Come on up and take a look. I've got everything you need. Lace, home or silk. Come right up and take some home. Uh, okay, I was supposed to check out check out perks finally, so let's do that. Uh, main level. Mm, I can choose some perks here. Uh, aesthetic. You last fifty percent, uh, fifteen percent longer without food, but as soon as you get hungry, the effects will be twenty percent worse. Okay, this is not bad. When dirty, you have 50% more charisma when talking to women. However, people will smell you a mile off, reducing your stealth by 30%. Your stamina will regenerate 20% faster at night, but 10% slower during the day. Or you grew up in impoverished conditions, so comfort of beds is inverted for you. The worse the bed, the better you sleep. Okay. Uh... Out of those, I think this might actually be kinda useful. Hmm. So, because I assume from that I get one perk point per like... Hmm. Like, do I have to choose one of those or can I eventually get all of them? It's a bit unclear to me. Uh, level is derived from your stats, and as you progress through the game, it's useful for comparing your character that character to that of your friends. With every second level you reach, you can select one perk that will allow you to make your character more specialized. Okay, so every two levels, I get a perk, uh, and I think I have to choose one of each category because it goes up by two. Uh, you know, the, 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 the perk requirements. Mm. Hmm. So out of those, I, I think I'll take Aesthetic. Uh, I'll try not to get too hungry anyway, so... Uh, yeah, let's, let's take that.
uh, and no other uh, perks available in any other category. Okay, but I do have uh, a perk available in Herbalism, or actually even two. Uh, I already have a perk. You've collected such a quantity of poisonous herbs or nettles that you, your vitality is permanently increased by plus two. Okay, that's pretty awesome. It, it, it uh, sort of validates my choice of... Um, you know, my choice of uh, picking up all of those flowers. Uh, if you've got enough fragrant herbs in your inventory, you get a plus two charisma bonus. Okay, this is pretty cool because uh, judging by my, uh, by my, um, you know, uh, proclivity towards picking up herbs, I will probably have plenty of them in my inventory at all times anyway, and I do like having a greater charisma for, you know, rhetoric and uh, negotiating with people. If your horse has enough fragrant herbs, it will shy less. It's less useful because I'm not sure how long it will be until I acquire my own horse. Um, the herbs you sell have a 15% higher price. Mm, damn it, if I took this before, I could have gotten even more money? Uh, herb picking will add experience to your strength stat too. Okay, this is awesome. I am taking this. Uh... <laughs> so do I want 50%, 15% higher price for the herbs? Or plus two charisma if I have, uh, if I have uh, flowers in my inventory. I think this is more generally useful. It's like 15% more cash whenever I sell herbs, which as I said, I am going to have hundreds of. I'll take this. Okay, so that's that's it for now. Um, and it just so happens, I think, that this episode has been long enough, so I'm going to pause it here. I'll check out the tavern and this area in general next time. Because um, I'm also supposed to look for my friends, Matthew and Fritz, uh, because they might be able to help me uh, to take my stuff back from Kunesh. But for now, that's all for this one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!